Hello, very good afternoon. It is afternoon, isn't it? It is, it is now. It is now afternoon. Um, another disused railway explorer video. I've got John with me again. You might remember John from the Bolsover, Seymour to Bolsover video that we did earlier this year. Um, we're at a very interesting site, which is going to be the end of the video today. So I won't give away too much on what's coming up. Over then, we're going to be walking down the Skegby Trail and um, as far as Kirkby Colliery. Anyway, so let's rewind nearly four hours ago um, where we started this explore up at, uh, at Plesley. And it is Plesley, it's not Pleasley, so don't make that same mistake that uh, we've both made. Whoops, perils of uh, railway explore. <laughs> So today we're going to be following the route of the former Great Northern Lean Valley extension. The line originated from Langwith Junction, just north of Shybrook, which we're familiar with from some of my other videos. The route we'll see today, which is in the red on these Railmap Online maps, opened in various stages throughout the 1890s, and in its day was a super highway for coal traffic. In today's walk, we'll see sections of the line in various disguises, from open countryside, repurposed leisure trails, urban sprawl and abandoned forgotten sections. We'll be starting from the site of the former Pleasley Colliery in Derbyshire, now a museum and country park, following the Skegby Trail as far as we can, tracing remains of the line to the Nottinghamshire town of Sutton in Ashfield, before finishing at the former Kirkby Summit Colliery and Junction, where we'll find an intriguing abandoned remains of the Sidings and Junction, down there as well buried. So we're around around what was the station called uh, again? Plesley East. Plesley East. Thank God John's here. Um bit of masonry. Right? This looks like it's more from a bridge though, doesn't it? Than the than a station perhaps, I don't know. So this is the first of our former stations today. So there were two stations in Plesley. As you can see from the footage we've just seen, there's no remains of this station left at all. So we're about, what are we about? Half a mile up from Plesley now. It's a lovely little cutting we've been walking through. First bridge of the day. It's like there's some brackets on there. End of a pipe. Sure. I thought it was. Uh, it is. It is metal yeah. attached to a wooden wooden plinth. But he was on the lookout for bits of metal, so I went out with a chap called Pete, who's from around this way. Last uh, oh, yeah, yeah. last week around Cloud, and he showed me what these are. So there's normally two of these, and then they're there to uh, support telegraph poles. Oh, what they're sort of like tension lines. Yeah, yeah, tensioners. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we've just come underneath what looks like it used to be a bridge that's been been infilled. Nothing left of the bridge, completely buried. Look at the scale of these uh, these cutting walls. Right in that one. Get a feel of just how. Oh, brittle. I don't want to make it collapse. That won't be wise. <laughs> it's really wide cutting. It's really widened out. So we're now leaving Derbyshire and going into Nottinghamshire. We've just been having a discussion actually in which county we're in. Bit of a, don't know, we're quite sure where the borders were, and I know it seems to get a lot of people whipped up when I get Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire wrong. It's 
fine example of this slightly corroded bridge. Sure is, isn't it? Is this a, a one-piece bridge though? Is this particularly it's being added at a later date? This top bit. I don't know. Slightly. You got this arch span at the bottom. Uh, and then it could have been added to stop people jumping. So what are we now? About a mile, two mile? Yeah, about a mile. About a mile in. It's a nice walk. Nice, uh, not a lot of stuff to find in terms of the shoes, railway infrastructure and such, but it's a very, very pleasant trail so far. Another nice bridge. Slightly confusing because we seem to have got this bright, shiny thing in the sky that's obscuring. <laughs> it's making an appearance. For the first time this week. <laughs> yeah, 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 first time for a while. So this is the Great Northern Railway, isn't it? Yeah, Great Northern Railway. Yeah, the different, you can, you can see from all the railways I've been walking on recently, the different designs of the bridges. Yeah, you don't have got the blue brick there, have you? Different, uh, different stonework, different, a lot of steel. Purely for farm access, that. There's nothing either side of the field. Really, just for a farm? Just come down the steep staircases, just from the, the trap bed way above there. Got this little tunnel. I presume this is just for farm a farm access, it's not a it's not a stream or anything. Just digging out there, a 15 pound light I got off Amazon. Look at that crack. Look at the size of that. There's some kind of I presume it's engineers graffiti or something. Engineer notice rather than graffiti. I don't think graffiti is the right word, is it? It's crack, another crack. Oh wow, look, there's a little bat. Look at the little bat. I won't shine it. I just hate scared shitless now. Wondered what it were then. Yeah. I reckon there was some kind of hut or something here. So we've got a large piece of timber that I thought was a sleeper initially. But there's a lot of bricks, a lot of bricks and concrete. Lots of wood there, looks like there was a platform or something in the side that supported something at some stage. And you can see the, you can see the concrete there. Well, I think that's got to be a signal, hasn't it? That would this line being open late enough for it to be a colour signal, though? Good question. We well, did close 68, 69. Either way, still, yeah, yeah, yeah. great. So, got a bit of a junction now. So, it's where we've come from Skegby, Skegby Track, as it says on that post there. That one says Link Track, and uh, that goes off to the Tevisal trail over in that direction but we're carrying on going this way masonry on the side of the side of the what i'm assuming was a junction just about 100 yards up from skegby junction something else demolished lots of masonry lots of bricks oops Let's see what it says on the bricks Yeah, there's definitely some building or something here. There's loads and loads of bricks. Masonry around here as well. See, we've got some weird like porcelain bricks here, like it was a like a toilet or something. There's no station here, is there? No, there is a station. Yeah, look at these. It's probably these bricks probably went behind the urinal at some stage. <laughs> but yeah, lovely glaze on, on there.
pretty weird that goes. It's not tile, it's actually literally tile. Yeah, it's like it's been glazed like that, isn't it? Killed. Perhaps that's it, perhaps the plate there's happened. Yeah, I mean there's a lot. I mean look look at the amount of stone. There is. Concrete there. That's I'm sure this isn't a station. Like a platform edge or something. That is a wide bridge, isn't it? It was uh, there are I think there is a side in here on rail map online. But still, the amount of masonry, there's got to be, there's got to have been something here. Yeah, yeah. That's just not a hut, this, and those glazed bricks. Anybody knows? I'm not local, I've not got the in-depth knowledge around here. If anyone knows, leave us a comment, please. I'm so fascinated by the masonry, I completely ignored the bridge. It's had a bit of repair work done on the side there hasn't it blue bricks filled in this masonry just keeps going even the other side of the bridge where i understand we understand from looking at maps there was a signal box but this isn't a signal box so yeah look at the size of these these are like these are like foundations massive So Skegby for Stanton station, he's just up there, but I know this is definitely not the site for the station. So looking at the old maps, this was the site of the, uh, of the old signal box. So we can see there's a recess, I'm seeing the cutting here. I've not seen any photographs of this signal box prior to coming. But again, so much masonry. And again, I'm, I'm desperate to know what all this is from. This is definitely some structure, unless it's related to the station, yeah, the station up, and it's been deposited down here for some reason when it was, the old station's been knocked down and moved. Well, it could be part of the supply of the bridge. Right? Well, yeah, bridge anything. <laughs> now, We've got some remains, looks from some signalling. They've got a got a bit of a uh, got a ground frame, is it? Just on the approach now to what was the name of the station? Skegbit for Skegby. Stanton Hill, was it? Definitely something raised just on the entrance. But I'm, I need to I'm gonna have to plow through these bushes because seeing all kinds of things at the back all related further up as well if I can get around yeah, something else there I keep saying the phrase ground frame like I understand what they are but uh, definitely something some installation sat on that or performed some function Massive hole down there. There's another one just at the back there. I can't get to it, but yeah, sit in the ground. So Skegby Station opened in 1898, and like some of the other stations that we've seen on the line, closed in 1931. So if we look at a wider map of the area around the station, we can see to the north the approach that we've just taken to the station, and this is where we saw all that rubble. So we're on the right on the site of the of the station now. So that's looking south, that's looking to where we're going. And that's just looking back towards the station that we've just walked through. The path drops away, so you can see on the old maps there used to be a bridge going over the road. Now, from what I can tell, it wasn't a, a viaduct, it was just a, a bridge, so there's been a lot of earth moved, presumably. Now, we're wondering if the stone from this bridge was just taken 100 yards up there and just dumped where we saw it 
before we got into the uh, into the old station site. So again, if anybody knows, if anyone's got any insights into what we're seeing today, just drop us a comment. So we're just leaving Skegby, Skegby station just behind us there, back into a, back into another nice cutting. Full of mud. Yeah, full of mud. Lovely. So you probably can't make it out that well for the mud. Um, that we're working on in a minute, but John informs with it. This trail, it's got the nickname of the Yellow Brick Road. Probably needs a little bit of jet washing. <laughs> it's a bit clean, doesn't it? Yeah. A bit heavy raining. Maybe, the, maybe it's on the council's to-do list. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still in that cutting, just outside Skegby. Here's something. Just on the side, it's caught the eye. Again, I use the phrase something because I am not got a clue what this was. It's too small to be a to be a hut, isn't it? So I'm guessing it's some maybe something to do with signalling or some infrastructure related installation. Incredibly impressive. Isn't it? Wow. That's that art. That's great, isn't it? Right, so we're ploughing on. We're still on the Skegby Trail, but we've come into the outskirts of of Sutton in Ashfield. That's the one, sounding like I know where I am. Um, and as you can see, it's taking a much more urban feel now. We've got a, that, that nice dirty yellow um, stone has now turned into uh, now turned into tarmac and lampposts. So we're still on the lookout for anything. So we're well into to urban territory now. Um, I'm assuming it would have been a cutting that went underneath the road here on the entrance to, uh, I can't remember the name of it, I've just looked it up now, Sutton, Sutton, in, in, Sutton in Ashfield Town Station, just the other side of the road here. So we're right on top of the bridge now, above, I believe this is where the station building was. Is that right? Over top of here, go down here, I think. And that's the site of the station. Not much of a station left. <laughs> Certainly not, it's even too brambled up for me. It is the same view from that bridge that we've just been stood on. So we had a former station building on top of the bridge, which we can see in this photo, and we could just make out that station building on the old map as well. So the station opened in 1898, and like the other stations on the line closed in 1931. But Sutton Station did have a reprieve in its later life, but ultimately closed for good in 1956. So, that's the station master's house. I'm assuming this is a, a gateway into there, possibly. <laughs> wow. So it looks like we do lose the line for a while now, but you can still see evidence. It's in uh, Sutton in Ashfield town centre, this old bridge. And the lines are going off over there somewhere. We're gonna keep following the route though, as far as we can. So things you think you never find in these urban settings. So just up from that bridge, just leaving to the south now. And you can see the route of the old line. Still got the old kind of walls that run alongside of the line. It's like a platform edge that, isn't it? So, no idea where we are, to be honest. <laughs> Station Road. Station Road, we've just come from down there and the, the line went underneath here and it was like the top of the bridge. It's been infilled now, it's a range. It's an abutment. It's a What's that? Oh, that's not that, it's gas mains. Just behind the little. Uh, just up from that bridge we've just been stood at and this has got this old wall and just where the little is now was the old i think it was sutton central station so i wonder if that wall is the original wall from the railway so i'll just highlight on a map what we've just been looking at here's those bridge remains that we've just been walking along the top of 
and I've just marked out that wall that we've just been looking at by the side of the old central station. So something that I thought was interesting, um, we've navigated through a, a labyrinth of back streets to get back onto what was the former route that we've been following. And it's now a, a road, but it's now a disused road. It's gated up at both ends, overgrown paths, disused lampposts, quite ironic really. Yeah, it's getting interesting again. Let me move the wire out of the way. Um, right back off that disused road back on to railway railway line or what was railway line so and we're heading over now kirkby colliery yep kirkby, kirkby colliery. colliery used to be a lot of sidings and a lot of industry excellent we'll see what we can find so we're rambling on about nothing in particular and uh, here we go we're coming across rows of sleepers I don't know why this was exciting. Um, of course, it's always exciting to find sleepers in the ground when you're just walking along a, just a disused track bed, isn't it? But it's that Seymour effect, yeah, again, it isn't is, it? it is. Once they're in, when they're in as well. I like these different different style of uh, track fasteners. So what's that I spy? Is this the start of the uh, track then, or is it just a, a random bit of rail? Still connected, still connected to the sleepers there, the fasteners. Oh, that's great, it's just on the flat. And when oh. you're up close, you realise it's how big it is. Yeah. It's like over a lawn as well, isn't it? Yeah, this is like planes of crossing planes. Just how the, the ballast just completely consumed by soil. So the ballast, ballast back, bit of a tree growing there. So when did this line, when was like this line last used then? I have to look that up. Question. Um, I think it's the same line, isn't it, that closed in 1969, I think. Well, I wonder if there was a siding or something That's here for the, the, the colliery. Oh my God, look at this. This is a public footpath through here, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it yeah, is yeah. fully accessible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's the classic Hornby style. So that could not be more like Hornby. Exactly. I saw the one the other week up Swanwick Way. I said exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. It just reminds you of them little Hornby buffers that used to pop off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been disconnected this bit. So, what's it say on the fish plates on these ones? I can't really make it out. BR, sort of BR. So, would they be fairly recent ones and fairly modern? I mean, they got BR on. I, I can't remember when was privatization, when was it nationalized to British Rail? Was it 1948? It's a good guess. <laughs> well done, Satan. BR rails only back. Nineteen seventy one. Quite recent then. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nineteen seventy one as well, this point. That is awesome. And the blade just on its side here. These uh, right so in Clown last week, I saw some of these trappings with S on and some with 
AS on. So what's the difference between S and AS? Another one, AS. Is it an A? It's difficult to tell. I think it is an A. And here's, here's the end of the blades. That is fascinating. It's about all the mechanisms alongside as well. Such heavy pieces of kit. You don't realise what what pieces of kit points out here till you get up close. Yeah. Completely fascinated on that point. I didn't realise the uh, the main railway line. That's the Robin Hood line, I think, joining us in between Sutton Parkway and Kirkby and Ashfield. We've got another little piece of track at the end. We'll see how far we can get. The last bit. We're back at Sutton Parkway station now, so that's the end of today's explore. Um, yeah, a real mixture today. I've really enjoyed that, John. Thanks. No he's uh, yeah, he's he's wrecked this before and come, and I've I've followed him around. So yeah, you've excelled yourself today. Thank you very much. Much Thank appreciated. You. So quite a bit of a mixture. We had the trail. I really enjoyed that. A uh, bit of urban stuff where there were a few things left over. We could see evidence of the railway, and then that last bit up by. Um, summit junction um, it's great just to see old track and point work that you can just walk around always a bonus so yeah ah oh, yeah spot on that that's a good way to spend a saturday a good few hours wandering around derbyshire and nottinghamshire let's not get bogged down in that old debate but anyway, but anyway cheers thanks for watching appreciate it as always don't forget to leave a comment like and subscribe etc um, appreciate the support take care and uh, i'll see you again soon yeah. Cameraman John. He's not getting paid for this. <laughs> it's a freebie. So very serious subject now. So over 180,000 people a month railway. This huge railway explorers are admitted to hospital with eye injuries. So introducing my new range of eye wobbly eye protection range. <laughs> I don't know which way they go up. <laughs> so I've consulted the top fashion designers in the several cities around the world and I present to you the wobbly protective disused railway explore glasses <laughs> now these are going to be available through my YouTube page very soon uh, 69 to 99 a piece which I think you'll agree you can't put a price on eye protection you'll agree it goes really well with the hat so I'm going to be going in now, just a bit of vegetation, I'm going to be giving it a, a try, so I'm now fully protected.